In Finland, when I was a young boy, I was thinking about the America, always. I was looking where the sun sets, and I was wondering what kind of, how this world looks on the other side. When I come to America, I go working those old talks in Market, Michigan. That very hard work. Then I get that job at Vinci Mine in Hancock. I working ten hour day, three years I mining that copper. No good that job. I go munising lumber camp and there I working wood swinging that grass cut saw. Then I hearing that many Finnish people, they working in that ironwood. So then we moving there. We built sauna and barn and house. We work all day at the field. And then in the evening, my mother started making rocks. So she said, come on, girls, now you got to come and look how I'm going to make, because you're going to learn to do this after when I'm gone. I'll get together and have a big blast once in a while. <laughs> I got a lot of friends who are of Finnish uh, heritage, but They've lost the language throughout the years. It's that they haven't been really close to people who have spoke the Finnish. And they're sorry about it. They try to learn the Finnish language, but it's hard after you have, haven't spoke it for a while. A lot of them, they've been here 50, 60 years, and they never gone back to Finland. There's a favorite lady like to dance, polkas and waltzes and whatever. So I dance with her about three, four dances, and she said, now I'm pooped out till next Sunday, that then we're gonna dance some more. Well, a sauna vihta is a sauna switch. My dad makes the vihta for us, but he's getting old. My dad takes patience, he's tying it, he trims it, and I think he does make the best sauna vihta. They called from the hospital, and the doctor said, oh, this is Dr. Potter, and he asked who I was, and he says, we're sorry, but we couldn't save your grandpa. And I got so mad, I threw the phone down, and I started crying, and I just waited for my mom and dad to come home, and, and I just thought, well, what am I gonna do? You know, I've lived with them since I was two years old. You got so many memories of them that uh, it's gonna be really hard. And if somebody told him what he didn't want, he wouldn't beat around the bush. He'd tell you right now. Oh, he was just like a big, solid oak tree. That's what he seemed to me like, you know. Every time I go in the sauna, I think of Grandpa. Every time I look at that cedar switch. <laughs> I'll never sure figure out. Look at that tractor. Never figure out how to tie that cedar switch the way he did with that birch rod. That's. That was something that he could. He really kind of kept that a secret, though. You could watch him do it as slow as he could do it, and you'd he had, never... He had some kind of a special <laughs> twist he'd give it that nobody could seem to follow when was, he tied it, it up. Was, it was great. <laughs>